Hey guys, Sharam here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to migrate the level progress assets into your own project. You can download the project files for free from my website. You can also pay for it if you feel like to support me. You can also support me on PayPal, Patreon, and blockchain if you feel like supporting me. Um, so here are the project files that you're gonna uh, get after you download it and uh, let's jump in. So with Unreal you can't migrate um, newer projects into older projects but you can migrate um, older projects into newer projects. Uh, we're going to migrate our level progress system from Unreal Engine 4.20 to Unreal Engine 4.22. Uh, so you'll get this download from the website. This is Unreal Engine 4.20 um, and you'll have these assets. You're going to launch the project and you're going to come into here and we're going to migrate the blueprints folder and that I think that's going to be it. I think we're mainly going to just import the migrate the blueprints folder. Let's do that. Migrate see what we have here okay and we are going to choose our first person level progress um, and I made this earlier just um, and we're just gonna migrate it into the content folder for this project so that would be your project and the content folder of your project um, and I'm also going to migrate just this main menu map here. So we'll go asset actions, migrate. Yeah, we want all of that stuff. Okay. And this will also be FPS content. Select. We'll just say yes in this case. Okay. So now if we open our uh, FPS project or your project we should see blueprints folder yes this is what we need those and our main menu map here let's see what we have here first person map okay and what we'll just do right now real quick is we're just going to open up the first person character and we're going to open up the third person character and we'll start by doing those two and then we're going to I'm going to actually uh, rename this or I'm going to make a copy of one and then we need to create all of the levels so our uh, string array is going to be able to uh, refer to these levels so level zero zero and then i'm just going to go um, duplicate okay so we have our levels and I'm gonna just move our main menu map to there, move here. And now everything's all consolidated here. We'll get back to this folder in a minute. And again, you will do that. However, you're gonna do it for your own levels. You could just rename them to these if you have a bunch of levels already. Um, so we're just gonna start by beginning this migration. So, uh, let's go third person so we want all of this stuff here so I'm just going to copy and paste and I think we already have an event begin play so I'm going to find that and uh, link this down to our sequence here and then just to keep that functional we will 
connect this to this pile. Let's see all the errors it gives us. This way we'll know what we need to create. Okay, so let's start by creating this levels array. And here we need to immediately, what we're gonna do is create that compile and go one, two, three, four, five. Level zero, zero. So these need to match what we had here. Okay. And then we're going to compile this again, see what else we have. So current index, we will create this is just an integer variable. Uh, we need to and we need to create this variable. Okay, compile. This level is string. Okay, just double check. Okay, that's clear. Current index, level, levels array. those we need to save game connection so we'll create that as well connection and this is going to be a we want to choose save game for this the game save is something else that is our own save object okay so all of that's ready to go let's see what else is missing the break loop okay so we have that there, we're just gonna need to redo these. Break loop and break loop. We're gonna compile again. Okay, everything's good. So now we need to make these functions. So I'm gonna create all of them and then we shall uh, copy and paste them over. So let's go function. Level complete. Load next level. And we have game complete. Complete. I'm just going to copy the functions from. Okay, let's just do load next level first, simpler. Go to the next level. Okay. Pile. Uh, gonna grab the game complete logic and paste that as well. Okay, and load next, or level complete. Let's copy that. Level complete, control V. Let's see if this gives us any errors. Thing looks good. Game complete, that's important that that is matching that. And okay, so let's save. I think we're done with that. Okay, now what we're going to check. Um, okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to import the level end object into our maps. So level zero, zero, save all of those. And we're just gonna go to this blueprint and we're gonna drag this guy in. And we're going to go to the next one.
Okay, so that's all the levels they have object in them now. We're going to launch the main menu map and give it a try, see what happens. Okay, so we have this. I'm not going to fix this crosshair issue in this uh, tutorial, but let's go play. Save game created successfully. Okay, there's our there's our tower, save game. Okay, so nothing's working here. Okay, let's see what's going on. So, we're gonna come here, we're gonna open this. Okay, so we need to fix this. I forgot about this and that's part of the troubleshooting process. So we need to actually convert this now to our, uh, we need to cast this to our first person uh, character and connect those connect that and then we're going to link this to uh, okay so we also need to remove this level complete and we need to actually call the level complete level complete function directly for that guy uh, from the first person character. And I'm going to link this up to save game connection. And I'm going to replace that one with this one. Okay, let's try that again. Level zero zero loaded. Okay, that's good. And let's go. Okay. Level zero one saved, so we're in level zero one now. Okay. Level zero two. Level zero three. Okay, so now I'm going to exit and I'm going to relaunch and hopefully it should come back to level 3. So let's close this, launch it again, press play, level 0, 3 loaded. Excellent. Okay, and let's see what happens. Let's finish this off. So we're going to do that. And the final one. Okay, and game complete, back to the first level. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you migrate um, migrate the level progress asset into your project. Again, remember that you can migrate older projects into newer projects that are made with newer versions of Unreal, but you can't, for example, migrate uh, this uh, asset from 4.20 into Unreal Engine 4.20 into like Unreal Engine 4.15. You're gonna have to copy and paste and manually um, link everything up and copy and paste the blueprints, which you could do from the paste bin or you could do from the project yourself, but you're gonna have to copy and paste and do a little bit more work than you would have to do if you're going from an older version of Unreal to a newer version of, of Unreal. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're going to use this in your project, let me know. And uh, feel free to support me by buying the project, even though you can get it for free on the website. You can buy it, or uh, you can support me on PayPal, Patreon, and blockchain. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep creating.